Hey guys, CJ here from PBX How To's. Getting back into videos after being under the weather a little bit. And we're going to start off with an easy one. Abbreviated dialing lists. Um, specifically personal abbreviated dialing lists. Now abbreviated dialing lists are basically speed dial lists that you can give to your users uh, to call frequently called numbers. And what I usually do is I ask people to send me an email with the you know top 10 phone numbers that they're going to call a lot and I'll add their personal you know, dialing list to their station for them. And then I'll, I'll send them an email back saying, okay, here's how you change it if you wish. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So that's the scenario. Now, you may think you can just add um, an abbreviated dialing list from the command line. Add abbreviated dialing personal. Well, you cannot. The way you have to do this is you have to change it at the station. So we're going to go to my station here, 1000. And I'm going to go down to the abbreviated dialing section. And on list one, I'm going to say personal. And you can have one through three um, entries. One through th uh, up to three lists, excuse me. Up to three lists on a personal. But we'll just give them one and we'll, we'll say uh, enter. So I submitted that. Now I can go in and I can change the abbreviated dialing list for that personal list for this specific user. And the way you do that is change abbreviated dialing personal in the station extension that you assign that personal at. Okay, and then here it is. So I'm going to say CJ's list and multiples of five. And, and if you look down here in the help, older systems past V3, G3, V3 and older, which is earlier, you can have, I think it's, yeah, five to 10. And then everything from G3, V4 is up to 100. And I don't think you're going to need that many, but we'll just go ahead and say 10. So remember, for users to do this, you want to give them outside access. You want to put a nine. And let's say they're going to call the New York office. So I'm going to say 912125551313. I'm just making numbers up here, guys. Okay. So, and then a local office. And let's say they're in they're in Phoenix, Arizona, and they want to call their Tempe office. So I say 9480555131316. And then I'm going to say, whoops, excuse me. I'm going to say I want to call my house. Let's say, you know, the person's house. So let's say it's 602-555-1414. You get the drift, right? So you go ahead and add these. And now those, uh, di those entries are available for your users to call. Specifically this user. And you can see they're there. The way they're going to access these, they can either access them using a feature access code, which I already have pre-populated. So because it's in list one on their station, if you remember... Um, the way they can do this is dial star zero one and then the dial code for those numbers. So zero one, zero two, zero three, whichever the phone numbers are at. But they have to call it from their phone. So the way they can do this on their phone, and this is how I set it up, change station 1000. I give them feature button assignments. And what I do is I say A, B, R, V, D, dial list one for list one, which is right here, okay, dial code 01, ABRV, D, list one, 02, ABRV, D, list one, 03, and I'm going to give them an ABR prog, I'll explain that here in a second. What this does is it allows them to um, program these, these abbreviated dialing lists uh, and set the labels if they wish. So they can change the numbers that are in their list anytime they want uh, just by hitting the, abrev the uh, ABR program or going to the program soft key feature in their menu. Okay, and once they program those, they can change the numbers all they want. Just remind them that if they want to call an outside line, they got to dial, you know, nine, whatever the number is going to be to be called. Okay, so once I set that, I'm done that user's ready to make a Brevita Dialing list calls from their personal list. Um, stick with me. I'm going to do another video on Brevita Dialing for system and how that differs from the personal side. And I'll have some others coming up too. So thanks for watching my videos. Make sure you subscribe, tell your friends, like this video, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.